Okay, we have some bad news and some good news. Due to this bad microphone cable, the sheriff will not be appearing in this episode of Most Wanted. After QAC TV punished those responsible for the error, it was decided that I will act as your humble narrator for this installment. The sheriff will return next episode, we promise. And now, for the good news. As they were taping the show, the sheriff was informed that Candace Timms and Joshua Rowe were taken into custody in Sutherlandville by deputies. Candace Timms was only just profiled on the last episode. Thanks to your tips, the office of the sheriff was able to close five warrants. And now, here are this episode's Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted. Tyrone Gavant Marshall. Tyrone has a bench warrant for failure to appear. The original charge was attempting by a driver to elude uniformed police by failing to stop. Last known location was Castle Marina Road in Chester. He also goes by the names James Hudson and Lamont Tavon Hood. He is 30 years old, 5'9", 160 pounds. Tyrone has numerous tattoos on his upper left arm, left shoulder, and chest. Nicholas Christian Ten Eck. A violation of probation bench warrant was issued for Nicholas in July of 2016. While on probation, he was charged with assault in Anne Arundel County. The original charge was malicious destruction of property. His last known location was Severna Park, Maryland. Nicholas is a 21-year-old white male, 5'11", 145 pounds. Lawrence William Green, wanted for non-support. He was profiled on the last episode and the sheriff's office has gotten some tips on his location. Lawrence is 6'5", 345 pounds. Keep the tips coming and the sheriff's office is confident they will have him in custody soon. Derek Daniel Brown. He is wanted on violation of probation bench warrant. Original charges include reckless endangerment and false imprisonment. Listed as 5'11 and 160 pounds with a tattoo on his chest reading Jamie. This 30-year-old was last known to live on Spring Road near Millington. Charles Richard Naylor, originally charged with assault. As part of his sentence, he was placed on probation, which he has since violated. Naylor is 41 and listed as 5'9 and 185 pounds with numerous tattoos on his upper body. His last known location was on Benfield Road in Severna Park. And finally, earlier this month, Bay City residents reported numerous thefts from vehicles occurring during the night. Detectives were able to track a stolen laptop's location and recover some stolen jewelry that had been pawned linking Tyler Lee Custer to the thefts. Custer has relatives here in Queen Anne's County but is believed to have returned to North Carolina. In this case, we believe he did not act alone in these thefts. Queen Anne's County has experienced thefts from vehicles or car shopping for several years. In some cases, when vehicles are locked, thieves will smash windows to gain access. In many of the cases, the vehicles are simply left unlocked. The common factor is that valuables are being left in the vehicles, often in plain sight. The Sheriff's Office is urging you to remove your valuable items from your vehicle when you park it for the night and to report all suspicious activities to the Sheriff's Office. Thanks for watching. If you have any information on anyone profiled in this episode, please call 410-758-0770 or email the Sheriff at sheriff-info at As always, all tips are anonymous.